everyone, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to Vlogmas uh, 2023, day 13. Also, it is Wednesday, so it is Crafting with Friends. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend this past weekend. You just saw Teddy walk past. <laughs> um, yeah, we had I had the craft day on Saturday, which is the ladies craft group that I, I try to meet. Well, they have it once a month. I don't always, I can't always go, but uh, I did get to go this time. And they had our Christmas potluck since it was the meetup for December. And everything was great. And they had um, gift exchange. And I got um, a... Bath and Body Works uh, foaming hand soap. It was the a Christmas scent. It was called Winter something. Now I don't remember, but it smells good. It kind of smells like Christmas tree. <laughs> so um, I have that in my bathroom already. And then I got a package of Wonder Clips. If you are a seamstress, you know what the, that is. They're these, these little plastic clips really good for holding things together instead of pinning. And so uh, that was a nice little gift that I got. And then um, what else? Oh, what did I work on? I worked on the, yeah, I worked on the the corduroy bear, the her, his overalls, and I got almost all of it done. Well, it's finished now, but I got almost all of it done there. Uh, I just had to do like the back a back piece and then the straps which were crocheted on and then I had to make the little buttons which I just uh, crocheted some circles for the buttons uh, on the straps and then sewed it all on and it's finished so come back tomorrow for the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode and I will show you corduroy so it, anyway he turned out really cute <laughs> and so that's what I worked on while I was there um, and then what did I do the rest of the weekend um, I would just just regular weekend doing my vlogmas videos and <laughs> and uh, things around the house, but it was a nice weekend. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do our vlogmas and yeah, because I really don't have anything else to show you that I've been working on that's not vlogmas related. So let's go ahead and do vlogmas. Okay, so uh, yesterday's yarn ball was a really pretty uh, light pastel mint green color, and so I did put that into my project. So here is my project so far. Um, I am doing the mattered, mattered, <laughs> I'm doing the mitered square granny blanket pattern. It is a pattern by Premier Yarns, and I will link it down below in the description box, free pattern. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Using a main color of black, I'm doing two two rows of the whatever the yarn scrap ball is. I uh, unwrap each day. Two rows of that, and then one row of the main color, which is black, and this um, in my what I'm using. So anyway, <laughs> there it is. So far, it is growing. It is not growing as fast as the the uh, modern granny blanket that I made, because that one was a block stitch. It ends up making the stripes. I still did two rows of stripes, but the block stitch, uh, to complete the pattern, there's two rounds, because you had the setup row, and then you have the blocks. And so, um, it actually, it's almost like you're doing four rows instead of the two. And so, it grew faster. But anyway, it's coming along. So, there is that project, okay? And then I did the jigsaw puzzle for the for yesterday's uh, the square number twelve, and I'll pop that picture right in right here so you can see that. So there is the jigsaw puzzle. It was another uh, Santa image, and so um, I took it and put it and connected it to the other part of the puzzle. And so now I will pop in the picture of the what it's looking like all together, and I'll put it probably down here somewhere. So there is the picture of all of it together. So it's growing. <laughs> and then, so I did go ahead and get the day 13 puzzle. So I'll be doing that to, in just a little bit. And the movie I watched yesterday was the Muppet, uh, a Muppet Christmas, the Muppet Christmas Carol, right? <laughs> anyway, I watched it on Disney Plus and I enjoyed that. It had been a long time since I'd seen it, so it was really cute. So I watched that and worked on my mitered square blanket. Oh, and I also 
did, uh, I think two, two or three more. Well, no, actually I did more than that. But with some of the same yarn, I made two or three, I don't remember, uh, granny squares. So I'm doing the four round granny squares that I'm creating with, uh, you know, some of the yarn that is left over from my project. And then um, I decided to go ahead and, well, first I decided to count them to see how many squares I had. I counted 36 squares. And so I thought, well, um, let me go ahead and start laying them out and seeing what it's looking like. So I, I did that. And uh, in fact, I have it laying over here on my dining room table. But um, as I was, and then I was trying to figure out like how many I want to make before I start putting them together. And so then I thought, well, let me try doing like six row, six by seven, you know, squares. That would be 42 squares. That would make it more of a rectangular project instead of a square and, and see how big that one is. I'm, I'm kind of aiming for like a lap blanket size. And so, um, so I laid them all out. And then when I laid them out, I thought, well, I've got 36 right now. And I don't have any blue yet, which is funny because I haven't picked any blue scrap balls yet. And I'm, I'm sure there's some blue in that box. <laughs> but anyway, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and make up some of my own um, squares with my own scrap balls to see if I can round this out and see how big it's going to be. And so that's what I did. I picked out a few extra colors out of my stash and made enough squares to total the 42. So now I have 42 squares and I laid them out, arranged them. And so I did take a picture of them. So now I will insert that picture right here. Okay. So there is the squares so far, how I've got them arranged. And uh, as you can see, the top corner square uh, has a white outline that well, that's going to be my round five for all of them but then I'm going to be joining them as you go during that round and so I decided to do Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway soft white and so um, that's what that first square was and uh, I think I'm going to start putting them together and once I get them together I might do like the one strip across which was well, I'll either do six or seven, depending on which which side I want to do, and I'll kind of, that'll give me an even better idea of, of how big it's going to be. And um, I will still making, but I will still make squares um, as I'm going along with the colors, the scrap balls. But I might even make more than one of the granny square lap gans. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But I'm enjoying doing it, and. Um, yeah, so that I've been working on that. Um, what else? It seemed like there was something else I was going to say about that. Um, no, I don't guess so. I just, like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and start putting them together. So that way I can see kind of what the actual size is going to be, um, depending on how many. Because I thought, well, I could, do, I could do six rows by seven, six squares by seven squares. That'd be 42 squares. Or I could do... Um, six by eight or seven by eight. Uh, it depends on, you know, how, what it's looking like and how big, you know. Anyway, so working on that, uh, I don't think, no, I haven't started the hamburger bag. Um, I know the main color, the bun color of the bag, I'm going to use probably Cafe Latte, uh, Red Heart Super Saver. I have like a jumbo of that that I've been working out of. And so, Probably, maybe I'll start that because you start with a circle, you know, and build up. And so maybe I'll go ahead and start working on that a little bit this evening. Um, and then I'm still working on the secret project that I can't mention about too much, except that in fact it's going to be a gift and I can't, sh I can't show it. <laughs> anyway, did a little bit of that. And um, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and I will pick the new yarn scrap color, see what color will be next in this blanket or the square. So let me get my box here. Okay, move that. I'll talk about do that chocolate advent calendar in just a minute. So here is my box of remaining balls, the scrap balls. Balance it on the desk here and let's pick, let's see, let's pick another color. Okay, let's see what this is going to be. Put this down. Okay. So, the color for today is going to be... Uh, 
Oh, dark purple. Isn't that a pretty purple? <laughs> so this is going to go next. Move that. This is going to go next in the blanket. Cool. That's going to that's going to be a nice color contrast between the the mint green. It's going to yeah, that's going to be nice. Okay, so the, that's the next color I'm going to be doing. I have my box 13 for my puzzle. And let's go ahead and do the chocolate advent. Okay, so day 13. Day 13 is right here. So let's open that. Okay. See what chocolate it is. Oh, I had to look. I was like, what's that? I think it's a... Well, yeah, I think it's a trumpet. Yeah, see that? That's like the, the bell of the instrument right there where the sound comes out. <laughs> and then I believe, yeah, see those little lines there? That is like the keys of the trumpet, like a cornet. Trumpet doesn't have keys. <laughs> anyway, so that, I mean, yeah, anyway. <laughs> trumpet or cornet, whatever. Musical instrument. <laughs> okay, so the movie I'm going to watch. Okay, so yesterday I watched The Muppets Christmas Carol. And I think today I'm going to go back over to YouTube or here on YouTube and I'm going to be watching The Homecoming, which is free here on YouTube. I already found it. I've already got it loaded up on my, not loaded, but I've got it on my computer. And it is the, the, um, it's the Waltons. It's like the first movie of the, well, the Waltons, the series started with the movie, The Homecoming. All the children that are in the movie are, they kept them for the TV series, okay? Uh, the grandmother is the same, and that's it. All the other adults are different. Uh, yeah, all of them. The mother is different. The father is different. The grandfather is different. And some of the other characters, like like uh, the storekeeper, Mr. Godsey, is a different actor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lot, all of them, except for, like I said, the grandmother is the same. But all the children are the same. Anyway, I'm going to be watching that. I love this this uh, Christmas movie, and it's it's kind of a tradition to watch. Another a tradition, I mean, there's some that I just have to watch every year, and The Homecoming is one of the ones I have to watch every year. So I'm going to be watching that while I'm putting the color this color in and also the the uh, doing the puzzle, Okay. And, um, yeah, what's for dinner? Well, I'm going to probably make, I think I'm going to make my husband some more salmon fish for the week. I made him some last week. I try, well, he really would like to eat fish once a week, but I don't always do that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to, I think I'm going to cook him some fish. And then I will probably have leftovers because I'm not a fish eater. No, I like shrimp and that's about it. Crab, I like crab, okay, like crab legs, Ooh, I like those, but I don't like fish too much, mm, not really. Tuna, I'll eat tuna occasionally, yeah, I'll eat tuna, but uh, like tuna fish, like a tuna fish sandwich, that sort of thing, tuna salad, <laughs> but no, I'm not really, and especially I'm not really into salmon. So yeah, I'll probably eat some leftovers. I had, I made hamburger soup yesterday and I've got some leftover. I might eat another bowl of that tonight. Um, or something. I'm not sure. We'll see. Anyway, that's what's going on for dinner for this evening. And, um, yeah, that's about all that's going on right now. <laughs> it's kind of drippy and, uh, wet and cold today. Um, so I'm just kind of hanging out here at the house and, and, and not going out. <laughs> I think the high is about, it's supposed to be like 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which, I know for some people that's nothing, but for me it's pretty chilly, and so I think I'll stay around here today, and and yeah. <laughs> so um, I guess that is it. Uh, let me know in the description box what are all of you working on. Have you gotten all your Christmas shopping done? Are you still working on some Christmas projects that are gonna be gifts? Um, yeah, what are you working on today? Uh, and, and, and how's your weather? Is your weather really cold? Has anybody got snow or anything like that? Um, we rarely get snow. We got snow, a lot of snow. Like, when was that? I'm trying to remember. It was quite a, 
well, several years ago, and we were like out of without electricity for a few days, so it was something else, and especially for Texas. But besides that, we might get snow like every 10, 20 years or something, so I guess we probably won't. It's not due for us to have snow again for quite a few more years. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty though. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I guess that's it. So thanks for stopping by for today's Vlogmas Day 13. Um, oh, I do wanna say that I'm gonna, I, I'm, I still wanna do the tutorial for the color changing on a granny square and uh, maybe I'll, but then I was thinking, well, I might have to do another short tutorial because it has to do with the magic, magic knot. And it took me a long time to learn the magic knot. Well, yeah, I always, it seemed like I always had to, had to look up a tutorial. And every time I wanted to do it, I had to look up a tutorial again to, to guide myself in how to do it. And it took me a long time. Finally, I can do it without looking up a tutorial. Same thing with the magic circle. It took me a long time to learn that. I had to keep, I had to keep looking at a tutorial to do it. Finally, I can do a magic circle now without having to look at one, a tutorial. But it, yeah, I don't know. That and the mag, both things, magic circle, magic knot, it took me a, a, quite a while to figure it out. So to, to memorize it, I don't know why. But anyway, so I'm thinking I might do a separate little short one just teaching the magic knot because you need to know the magic knot to be able to do the color change and, and it, you know, the more you can practice the magic knot, the better you can get at doing it. Okay, I'm not an expert, but I've gotten better than the beginning when I was trying to figure it out. Anyway, so I might be, do the little magic knot one first separate. That will be probably really short. And then do the, the second one as another video as far as the color changing. I don't know for sure. But anyway... Uh, I need to start working on that. But before I can work on it, I gotta go clean off my craft table because that's where I have my, I set my camera up for the tutorial. And my craft table is piled up again. It, it, I can get it cleaned off and within no time, it seems like it gets covered up again. I don't know what it, with, what it is with me and flat surfaces, but they get cluttered and then I have to constantly have to clean it up again. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yes. So thank you again for stopping by Vlogmas Day 13 and come back tomorrow and we will have another visit for Vlogmas Day 14 in combination with uh, Yarn Joy podcast episode and that one will be episode 335. I had the last week's uh, mislabeled. I said it was 335. It wasn't. It was 334. So tomorrow's will be 335, but it will be another combination with Vlogmas 14, I know, yes, 14 tomorrow, because, yeah, I don't have any, uh, enough stuff separate to show you that's not Vlogmas project, so I'll just stick them together. Anyway, come back tomorrow, and we will have another visit, uh, yeah. So, until then, have a wonderful evening. Today is Wednesday, so we're halfway through the week. So, have a wonderful uh, Wednesday, rest of your Wednesday, or whenever you see this. And come back tomorrow, and we'll visit again in the next video. Bye. <laughs>